Hundreds of people from black communities and people's movements took to the streets in Sao Paulo, Brazil to protest against police brutality on Wednesday, June the 1st. The protests were triggered in response to incidents of brutal police violence against black people in the country. In the last month, police murdered a mentally disabled black man in a police car and carried out a raid in Rio de Janeiro that left 26 people dead. In the city of Uba Uba on Wednesday, May 25th, Two federal highway policemen killed Genivaldo de Jesus Santos using a makeshift gas chamber. The victim's nephew, who witnessed the situation, said that his uncle had a mental disorder. In the images recorded by city residents, one can see Genivaldo being arrested by two policemen and getting shoved into the trunk of a car, while one of the policemen holds the lid to the trunk to ensure that it remains closed. The other throws inside the closed space large amounts of gas. One can hear Genivaldo's loud screams and thrashing legs before he eventually goes still. His murder sparked massive protests across Brazil condemning the brutal act of police violence. Demonstrations were held in front of the headquarters of the Federal Highway Police in Brasilia as well as other parts of the country. Para denunciar a violência policial e cobrar do Estado brasileiro a imediata investigação e culpabilização das pessoas que praticaram esses atos desumanos, como que aconteceu lá em Sergipe, aquela câmara de gás no Camburão, como a chacina do Rio de Janeiro, mas também aqui em São Paulo, onde o comandante da polícia de São Paulo diz que vai parar os motoboys, que são a maioria dos trabalhadores de aplicativo, para abordá-los de forma violenta. In the city of São Paulo, a building was illuminated last week with Genivaldo's face seeking justice for him. Brazil's federal police said in a statement on Thursday that they had opened an inquiry to investigate the circumstances of the death. In Rio de Janeiro, in early hours of May 24th, an operation by the Special Operations Battalion, or the BOPE, in conjunction with the federal police and the federal highway police in Villa Cruzeiro resulted in the massacre of 26 people. According to the police involved, the operation was aimed at arresting criminal leaders who were in the community. According to studies, in one year under Governor Claudio Castro's administration, 180 deaths were recorded in 39 such massacres in Rio de Janeiro. This May also marks the one-year anniversary of the Jacarazinho massacre, which left 28 dead and is considered the deadliest police operation in Rio's recent history. Despite public outrage, operations of this type continue to take place without proper measures being taken and investigations carried out properly. Besides their participation in the deadly police raid with the Special Operations Battalion in Villa Cruzeiro, federal highway police agents were alongside military police officers in two other massacres. The federal highway police was also involved in an operation that resulted in at least eight deaths in the neighborhood of Peña in conjunction with the military police of Rio de Janeiro in February of this year. In October of last year, at least 25 people were killed in a police raid carried out by the Federal Highway Police and the Military Police of Minas Gerais in the city of Varginha in the south of the state.